Ah. Hey everybody. What is this week eight? Um, yeah, back at the property. Just rolled up. My trusty steed. Got all the stuff from last week at the camp out. Uh, got to pull out. It is rainy. It is cold. But it is time to build a dome, y'all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, got to set up, got to get ready. We'll see if I get any work done today, but uh, going up, I need to focus on these arches this time. Go ahead and drop the third layer. Got some work ahead of me, boys and girls and everybody in between. I'll uh, check in with y'all later. All right, so, uh, yeah, first night, I didn't let uh, any daylight escape me. I went ahead and stacked some bricks. Uh, so I'll have a good starting point tomorrow. If you remember, I left off at the uh, bathroom area, so let me show you where that's at. So this is, I had everything set up. I went ahead and covered these. I had to put an extra ledger in here to hold them up for the time being. I'll take that down after they dry, after the water sets. But anyways, now I have a, uh, now we're really at par, you know. I should have done that before I left last time, but you know. It gets tiring. So now we're really at par everywhere. Now we can start moving up. Um, but still got more work to do on the arches. I think I'm going to have to do a, a long brick pour, which are which are those guys over there. I'm going to use up what I have, but probably have to do another brick pour. My favorite. All right. So I'll catch y'all in the morning. Stay warm out there. Love you. All right, guys. Uh, been working for a couple hours this morning. It was cold. I guess you can see it started on the third row on this dome. This weekend, I really do want to get that one done, at least, because that would make me feel so good if I actually got one dome on. Plus, I figured that it'd be easier to learn off of that one before I learn how to close in the big one. What do you think? Logic for you, you know? All right, so I'm in here. Again, I finished this up yesterday. Yesterday morning when I first got here, yesterday evening. I'm going around, and uh, I, you can probably tell by the outside it's not perfectly concave. But you know what? That's why I, my 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 tripod is not sturdy. I'm just kind of getting close enough, and uh, yeah, I really, really should have built one like this. That's not going anywhere. But um, you know, I figured, well, it's I don't have that much further to go. I can kind of eyeball it. It's a small dome, guys. Don't don't do this. Do it right. I'll make the mistakes so you don't have to, you know. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to keep plugging away. Um, these, it does take longer to, when you're up higher, you got to get these right angles and you got to cut the blocks so they lean on each other. It takes a while, so it's a slow, it's a slow moving process, but I am confident I'm going to close this in this week. So we'll see how it goes. Trying a video this way, uh, so y'all can see kind of how it's not uh, perfectly, perfectly uh, round, but you know what, uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyways, just want to give you a view like that. I finally finished that, I'm gonna take a break. Um, I'm gonna have to let that dry, it's cold out here, so the bricks don't uh, dry, or the mortar doesn't dry as quick as it did when it was 100 freaking degrees out here. Uh, ding ding. All right. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna figure out where to start next, but got that finished up. Um, I should be able to get this done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I decided to start using those long bricks up and get to the archways. Let me show you what I did. Started over here on this one, and I have to get these above because each of them are staggered. So that one goes inside. This one goes inside that way. So this one had to go inside that way. So, then I did that. I got this one going up. I really only need a few more to get to the top. Um, but, I ended up using all my long bricks, so I'm gonna have to do another brick pour. And then, with the rest of them, I went ahead and staggered them on the top there. And came around. And did the same over on this side. So, I was like, okay, now, now, I know that one looks a little janky, but it's what it is. Um, now I can go ahead and do another layer all the way around on the top. So, I'm gonna take a break. I don't know how much daylight I got left. 
but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some more concrete. I got the small box, I don't have any more long box, I'm going to use more concrete. And I have to wait for that little dump to finish drying before I can do anything else to that because like I said, it's getting too cold for it to dry quick. So um, yeah, probably start off tomorrow um, because after I get concrete and stuff, there's not much daylight left. Anyways, see you later. What's up guys? Oh, sun finally came out after two days of not. Anyways, uh, I did a brick pour because I, I'm doing the arches, so I need long bricks, right? Well, at my local store um, down the road, not at Home Depot, they sell this stuff. Whatever, don't don't buy that. Don't buy that. Stick with Alamo. I don't know why. It just I got these really large bubbles. I had to do nine bags in this. The last two were Alamo brand. So it's like it's better to stay with your consistent mixture, the, the stuff that you're usually used to working with. I thought it wouldn't be a big deal just using a different Portland cement. It's Portland cement, but that brand just did not did not work. And I would keep getting these big bubbles that would rise, and then it would lower the pour. And so I had to add two extra two extra um, buckets of uh, Portland cement or two ba extra bags. And now I'm a little concerned on how it's going to turn out because I used two different brands in it. Seven bags of the uh, TXI Portland cement. Don't maybe from mortar, I don't know. Um, and then I did two other bags because I had two extra bags of Alamo. Alamo is way better, so I just stick with that. It is kind of cold, so I thought it was might be some cold weather influence too, but I don't know. Just want to give you an update on that. I might even have to do a small break for it because uh, I'm, I'm going this week. I'm going. Nothing's stopping me now, boys. Nothing. All right, y'all. Love you. Well, um, no, nothing's gonna stop me, but I tell you what, that pour was one of the worst pours I've ever done. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple buddies over from the course that I took in Blanco, right? They came over, cooked some burgers, and helped me, help me uh, work on it a little bit. So thank you, Declan, Reese, um, Dana, River, Amber, all y'all. Just thank you. Uh, anyways, but what I learned that um, I don't think it was as much as the brand of the concrete, although that does affect it. I want to stick with Alamo anyways. Um, I, I think it was the temperature of the water as I'm doing the pour. So um, I think I'm going to have to, from now on, um, yeah, warm up the water. If it's going to be cold like this and the water is like cold to the touch, it did eventually harden, but it took a lot longer. So this morning, almost 24 hours after, then it started gaining some heat and I didn't want to pull the strings if there was no heat on it because I didn't want the um, it to just form back but when I got up this morning and it was hardening I tried to pull the strings and I broke string after string so it was a rough it was a rough morning um, but I did get bricks let me show you what I got so actually I you know Silver linings, y'all. I didn't, I didn't lose any bricks, but I had to hand cut each one of these with a saw. And uh, since there's two more bags of cement, these are like 25% heavier. So it's gonna be hard getting them up on the arch over here. Um, but you know, they're here, and uh, I didn't freak out. You know, I kind of just kept it cool, and eventually got them all out. Some of them, it did collapse in the middle, so some of them I did make into smaller bricks. So, hey, look at that. Not only did I get long bricks, I got some small bricks too. So, so there's a little lesson for you. Just keep with it, be mindful. Everything's a learning experience, you know? I've never done it with cold, cold water before, so now I know. I want to warm up the water just so it's not cold, so it'll, it'll, it'll uh, quicken faster. Uh, or they call that in the concrete world, going off. Like, if the concrete's going off, then it's hardening, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, and, check this out. I uh, did some more, another layer up here. Um, yesterday when I had some buddies over and kind of went ahead and pulled back the fabric on these. So, these are looking better, you know? Um, but I think I'm gonna focus on getting this. This would be a huge win if I can get this covered in the next day or so so we'll see how it goes i know i say that all the time but i am getting closer so it could be possible so just want to say onwards and upwards y'all love you
Okay, so I stacked a couple of those heavy bricks up top. I don't know if I like the way they feel. It's a lot of weight, but I am getting close to covering this up. So let me show you where I'm at. It's pretty far. I think I might be able to finish this. We will see. We will see. So check it out. Not too much further to go, y'all. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna be like closing that in, but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do. So, yeah, because this one's almost almost good. I just pulled all that stuff down. It's looking a little wonky, but I could fill it up, you know, with some stuff to make it rounder as I go. But yeah, it's coming along. Let's see how much I can get done today because I'm getting pretty pretty beat and uh, I think this might be my last day out here. So let's, let's go ahead and get it. I'm done. I think I'm done. Let me show you where I got. I think this is a win for me, boys and girls. Out here, holy cow! Oh my God. Check it out. So I got all of them touching. I think that's a win. Could still fill in those, but I'm out of mortar, out of concrete, and I put the weight on them. They're they're all they're all set on weight, so it should be good. It's pretty cool though, huh? So yeah, I'm calling it. That was my goal. Close it in. It's closed in. It looks really bad up top. <laughs> I got a lot of finishing work to do because that thing is so lopsided. Let me show you. There, it's all kind of wonky because I can't, I can't get up high enough. Can't get up high enough, and I have no way to go inside. Look at that. Woo. Man, it's a good thing these things have a good lot of margin of error because I got a lot of finishing work to do. Got to take out some from the side, build it up on the other side. But it's domed. Oh, the first dome. Oh my god, it's a little cone actually. Let's be real, it's a cone. Oh, y'all, some, uh, some lessons this week, I tell you what, yeah, but I'm tired, but, uh, as always, I want you to know I love you, 